In our Trader Rundown today, Tim Bigum of Options Insider joins us now. And Tim, we had some earnings coming in after the close last night from Disney and Priceline. What do you think about the market reaction and what's happening overall with the market? Yeah, we're going to need good earnings and repeated good earnings to kind of break out of this malaise we've been over the past several weeks here. So we'll see if, you know, earnings coming out, big names like Disney and the like, will be enough to break out to new highs. But until we do, we kind of don't. I think it's kind of that easy. Market's expensive on a valuation basis. Money's still cheap. It's that yin and yang kind of back and forth. And the VIX is still low. Absolutely, which means options are really cheap. So I really favor kind of using option strategies to express a directional opinion with the VIX, you know, right around that $10 level, about the cheapest we've ever seen. So option price is about the lowest they've ever been. Tesla's one of the names on your list. Yeah, absolutely. What are you doing with Tesla? <laughs> Tesla, normally I'm uh, not uh, that outright bullish or bearish, but with Tesla, given the move it's had post earnings, a lot of that earnings was on ZEV credits. Stock, obviously, shorts getting squeezed and annihilated. I'm just buying some simple puts, looking for the stock to maybe have what I call a bad hair day over the next couple weeks. Do you think the shorts that are scurrying now and have to buy this stock, do you think that's what's driving Tesla higher? Yeah, absolutely. When you see this kind of price action, when it starts to go parabolic, where you know it's just a get me out sort of uh, look on the chart, I always like to take the other side of that. Uh, when things get a little bit overdone, usually there's that pullback along the way. So the shorts, this smacks of short covering. Well, thank you for being on the show today, you the bet. Trader Talk.